Hey, hey everyone, I'm going to show you how I edit videos uh, using TikTok. Now, I do do my videos in Snapchat because I love the filters, um, and then I just save it to my camera roll, then I get the video and I upload it to TikTok. So what I'm going to do today is show you one from Dawn, uh, who is my co-host on the Digital Queens podcast. So we're going to make a video for her. her. So we go down to uh, the little plus button on TikTok down the bottom. Um, now... You don't have to, oh, I'm just going to hide myself there. You don't have to, let's just find Dawn for a minute. You don't have to have a TikTok account to do this. Um, you can simply, so I'm going to choose this one. You can simply just have the account just to use the editing, okay? You don't have to have a TikTok account. So what you do is you upload the video like I have here and then you can adjust the clip if you want to. I'm not going to because I don't need to, but if you wanted to make it shorter or longer, uh, then you just go to next, okay? Now, what you want to start doing now, so I got Dawn just to film this. She didn't have anything in mind in terms of content. I said just point three times to three different areas and I'll show you how to um, add text to it. So the first thing that I usually do is, you know, try and work out what you want to post. So let's say we want to do... Uh, three tips for building a funnel, okay? Because this is Dawn's um, superpower, building a funnel. Now, you can have it however you like uh, with the text. So you can choose here, um, you know, what color you want or you can choose different styles. Um, there's typewriter. You can take the background away. You can make it um, uh, opaque or whatever you like. Um Sometimes I like this one. Okay, I've spelt that wrong. But look, I'm, I'm not actually going to post this video anyway. It's just to show you. So three tips for building a funnel. That's going to be my 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 um, headline. That's what people are going to see uh, first up when they see your video. So you want it to be something catchy. Now, if I click on that writing, uh, you can do text to speech. So if I wanted that to say, say it. Three tips for building a funnel. Okay, so... You can change the voice there. Three tips for three tips for building a funnel. You can do that if you want. Um, although I'm just going to go edit. Sorry, I'm just going to go. I'm going to get three. rid of that because I don't want that. Okay, so the duration. I'm literally. So basically, you just use these two corners. The white line is just to sh just to have a look at your video. See that? So you just want to use the ends. Okay. So I'm actually just going to go. Okay, I want this to start from the start. But I want it to finish maybe, okay, because she's pointing, I'm going to make this a really quick one because if I did that there, I'm going to have writing up the top where she's pointing. So there's no point having two lots of writing on the screen. So I'm just going to make it one second. Sometimes when you make it really quick as well, it actually works out better for you because people have to then re-watch your video to try and read the writing, which means extra engagement for you. So quite often I'll use that as a trick just to get people to watch it. Okay, so the next thing is, um, now I don't build funnels, so I don't actually know what to put in this, but what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna make up three tips. Um, I'm gonna say platform, so um, choose your platform, might be one of them, let's say, and I might do that in yellow. And what I do is I just sit it there to start with, okay? And then number two is, again, these tips aren't gonna make sense, guys, but I'm just using it as a, as a, um, example. So then I'm going to go e-commerce and I want that one in blue. And where is she pointing? So it doesn't matter if I overlap at this stage because these are going to go. So one, two, and three. Okay. So my next one's going to be funnel. I don't know. I'm just making this up, guys. Dawn's going to, she'll be like, they're not even tips. Because she is the funnel queen, my friends. Funnel hacking. So let's just do that in red. I know these colors don't match, but you can choose whatever color you want. Okay, then I'm going to go... Oh, she's done four there. So let's do four is be bold. Okay. Or actually, I'm going to say follow four more. Okay. Or you could say share this video or uh, anything like that. Okay, so I'm just going to sit that where it's down there. So platform is number one. So I'm going to start from the left-hand side and literally start it from when she puts her finger up. I'm just going to do a second. 
I'm going to move that up a bit because I, I, I could see. So we're going to go platform. So it's going to go platform. E-commerce, again, I'm just going to wait until her finger is there. Boom, baba boom. <laughs> uh, funnel hacking, let's have a look. One, two, and three. I'm just doing a second each time. You can do a bit longer, but I, I don't want people to spend a long time reading it. I want them to re-watch the video instead, Okay. Because you're gonna you're going to get a lot more engagement when people rewatch it. It says to the platform, "Wow, this is interesting. We're going to play this." Okay. Now I'm going to leave follow for more. Okay. And then the last one is where she does her hand. So I'm going to get my because I, I I'm going to get them to my call to actions. Follow for more, but also share this video because that's an engagement hack as well. Um, and let's say we want to make this a different. Um, style of font okay so we've done share share the video or you could say share that doesn't make sense share this video would be more likely okay so we've got let's just make sure this is all in time three tips of building a funnel platform e-commerce funnel hacking follow for more share the video Woo! okay let's choose sound now i'll show you this sound but i won't I won't, last time I made the mistake of talking over it while I was um, filming and you couldn't hear anything because of the sound. So when the sound's on, I'll stop talking for you guys this time. Okay, so you go down to sounds. Now, the thing is with TikTok at the moment, what I've noticed is you can see here this TikTok, uh, tip top, sorry, TikTok, vlog, happy, all that sort of thing. These are just, uh, you know, if you think of stock photos on the internet that are free, free stock images, these are kind of like free stock songs, I guess you could call them. So basically they're uh, instrumentals that they've made themselves. Trending songs at the moment are quite hard to get. You can get them, but the problem is they, with copyright, and I think since this company took over, it's sort of taken off the, the trending songs. As you can see, none of these are really like proper songs. Because um, if you want to look at like... Um, Okay, Justin Bieber and Stay, Kid Leroy. See how it's Justin Bieber's style? Now, I don't know whether some accounts have got it, but I don't, but I think they're moving towards this. Okay. So you can see that you can just choose anything. Now, I'm going to choose it, and then I'm actually going to turn the sound down so you can hear me talking. Let's go into TikTok. Um, let's go... Okay, I, do, I don't like that one. Okay, so I didn't like that one. So to test the next one, you just click on the, the TikTok symbol. Okay, let's say I'm going to use that one. I'll click on it and then I'm going to click on the red tick to the right to select it. Okay, I've just turned the added sound down, otherwise you won't be able to hear me. But basically then what you do is you go into where it says volume on the right, you click on that. Now, the original sound, if, if you had someone talking, you would put that right up and the music just did that here. But because Dawn isn't talking, I'm going to do the opposite, okay? Right, and then I'm going to play it through without talking, otherwise you won't be able to hear me. Let's have a look here. I'm going to go all the way up. And to set that, I'm just going to push the uh, little red tick. Okay, then I just push next down the bottom. Okay, this is where now what we can do is, I'm just going to turn that volume up there, where it says select cover. Now, this this is more so for TikTok if you're going to um, post this on TikTok. I can go in and what cover do I want? Do I want that as a cover? Do I want that as a cover? That. So usually I want, I want them to be able to see three tips for building a funnel because that's what they're going to see on my profile. But I can move it up a bit and go, oh, like maybe that. Or, yeah, you can change it or you can actually add a different heading there with the things down the bottom if you wanted to. Like there's lots of different things you could do there. I'm just going to do that. We're going to go save. What you want to do, um, look, this is more about editing. I'll get into TikTok another day. You would then put your hashtags in. I'm not going to. Now, I am going to post this, but I will delete it. 
I will delete it afterwards because um, obviously I haven't set this video up properly. I just want to show you one last thing, guys. If you don't, if you don't want to have a TikTok account but you want to use TikTok for editing, then just go post. Top. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, so this is now on my profile. Uh, you can see it here. I've got some pinned videos, so that's why it hasn't come up first. This is what I do now. If you don't want to have a channel, click on that. The thing is, you can't make it a private video and copy it. Okay, so that's why. Well, you can. So if you wanted to make a private video. <laughs> It's just down the bottom here and you would change that. But then I can't copy the link because I want to get the I want to get the uh, watermark off it. If you just want to save the video, you can actually do that. Just down the bottom as you can see. Okay, so I've saved the video, but when I look in my in here, you're going to see it's got it's got the watermark on it. Okay, which is okay. It's you know, it's not a big deal, but if I want to use that on other platforms, which is why I make the videos on here, um, it is a big deal and you do need to remove it. So I'll show you what you do. You go back into TikTok and I'm going to copy the link this time. So the little three dots down the right. And copy link was up the top left. So I'll show you again. It's just because the sound, I can't talk while it's on. So the three dots down the right. And copy link. So then I get out of it. Now I've got this app. Now I paid for this app because oh, there are free apps out there, but the, for the amount of times that I removed the watermark, I had to pay for it. I pay for a year, I think $60 for the year. It's really easy. Put your records on. So you basically just post in your link up the top here, go continue, and then save it. So now I can go back in. Um, now, you can see all my selfies there. I just do a series of them, and I use them for the next month. So don't think I'm just looking at all these photos of myself in there. So if I click on this one, um, it – oh, I've saved the wrong video. I've saved myself there, see? Without the watermark. Okay, but you get you get the general gist there, Okay. Let me just go in again, actually, because it already had a, it's because it already had a link in there. So let me just get that link again. Two seconds. Ah. Okay. The reason why I can't copy that at the moment is because it's under review, which means that it's not a bad thing. Sometimes uh, TikTok will just do a quick review just to see if, if it's compliant um, it might flag some words, but probably because I put the word hack in there, funnel hacking, or did I put that in there? Sometimes those sorts of things can flag it. Um, but basically, showing you on another, yeah, it's under review. I would say it's because of the funnel hacking. So let's say we're going to do this one. You're a business that relies on connecting with other businesses. So I can copy that one. I'm going to go back into repost, continue. It's going to pair it. Then I'm just going to save it to my camera roll and that's it. And it's, well, I call it passing. I'll call it pair. Okay, so. You're a business that. Save. Okay, now that is in my camera roll and I have content there, see? It's got no watermark. So I can use that for YouTube shorts. I can use it for reels. I can use it for an Instagram post. I can use it. Um, I mean, you can use it anywhere with the TikTok logo. I just think it looks a lot neater. And when you don't have um, that TikTok logo, you'll get a lot more views on Instagram. Uh, and I've noticed Pinterest is responding better to, um, you know, without the TikTok watermark. So you can also upload this to YouTube shorts. So that's it, guys. I hope that that helped you and gave you some insight into your growth. how I edit on TikTok. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know and I'll chat to you guys soon.